Hello everyone. Submodeling for SOLIDWORKS simulation is the enhancement of 2013. This feature helps to improve results at critical areas with large number of bodies for studies. This is applicable for static or non-linear static where the analysis need not be rerun to improve the results at critical areas in the entire model. With this study, huge amount of time can be saved by focusing on the selected critical areas for the designs. So let's quickly take a look of an example inside the simulation interface. I have an example of a partial frame with the static study run. The plain carbon steel material has been assigned using the material library for all the parts. The edges of these parts are fixed. The force has been used as an external load for the selected phases. After meshing, we obtain the results for stress and displacement. Let us review the stress result. The submodeling is used to review a particular part from the large model for locally created stresses. There are two ways to perform a submodeling study, either by dropping down the new study or by right clicking on the static study, we can go into the submodeling study. We can create a submodel by selecting the parts we require to review. Once the submodel is being created, we can see the material and the fixtures has been automatically updated using the previous study. Now, let us represent the force for the particular part by providing the same specified value of the static study. Let us mesh and run the study. Once we obtain the results, we have the default parent study results from the static study. The stress and the displacement for the submodel are obtained. With the help of the submodeling, we can obtain the local stresses as well as the critical stress areas for the large models. Thank you for watching this video.